Prayer for the 2022 National and Local Elections Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this first Friday of the month, we gather ourselves in our devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. We ask the Heart of Jesus to teach us today how to focus and not to get distracted from the mission given to us by God. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant, we pray, that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked said among themselves, thinking not aright. Let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, 
and charges us with violations of our training. He professes to have knowledge of God and styles himself a child of the Lord. To us, he is a censure of our thoughts. Merely to see him is a hardship for us because his life is not like that of others and different are his ways. He judges us debased. He holds aloof from our paths as from things impure. He calls blessed the destiny of the just and boasts that God is his Father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the Son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the hand of his foes. With revilement and torture, let us put him to the test, that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death, for according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were their thoughts, but they erred, for their wickedness blinded them, and they knew not the hidden counsels of God. Neither did they count on a recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul's reward. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He watches over all his bones, not one of them shall be broken. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Please stand. Ang tao ay The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel in Judea because the Jews were trying to kill him. But the Jewish feast of tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were, in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly, and they say nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? But we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching and said, you know me and also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own, 
but the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him because I am from him, and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one laid a hand upon him because his hour had not yet come. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, what is the plan of the evil one against the good person? The evil ones always want to distract the good person. That is the style of the evil one, to distract you. Halimbawa, nanonood ka ngayon ng online mass at biglang nag-text ang kaibigan mo, Uy, may kwento ako. Nako, baka madistract ka oh. habang nagmimisa ka. Nakafocus ka na tuloy doon. Hinihintay mo na yung kwento ng kaibigan mo. Kaninang umaga eh, Friday pa naman ngayon, day of fasting and abstinence. Biglang nag-message sa akin yung delivery app. No? Would you want a fried chicken delivered at your door? No? Text ganito, ganyan, no? Sometimes you are saving up money for yourselves and for your family and then you realize that ah baka may nag-aaya sa iyo na tumaya ka muna dito online no Lahat ngayon online na even temptations come online no Chismis online no Sugal online no even temptations and distractions come online. My dear brothers and sisters, the evil one will always try to distract you from doing good. That is the style of the evil one. As we have seen in our first reading today, they said, let us try to test and to distract the good person. If he gets distracted, let us see if he will still do the good. Guluhin natin yung mabuting tao. At kapag nagulo natin ang isip niya, tingnan natin kung pipiliin pa rin ba niya ang mabuti o kaya nating madistract ang kanyang isip. That is what the enemies of Jesus did to him. The enemies of Jesus tried to distract him from his mission. They tried to persecute him. They tried to kill him. They tried to spread fake news about him. That is why the disciples of Jesus were telling him, Lord, do not go to Jerusalem. Because they will try to kill you. Just stay here in Galilee. But did Jesus get distracted? No. Jesus was firm in his mission. He said, I will only listen to the one who sent me, the one who I am from, and the one who gave me this mission. And that is God. Yesterday, I have already shared this in my episode of uh, Kapet Pandasal, but I would again want to share this with all of you today. I have heard the sharing of Archbishop Socrates Villegas. He was the longtime secretary of Cardinal Sin. And Cardinal Sin is buried here underneath the Manila Cathedral. 
when Archbishop Sok was asked, how did Cardinal Sin handle his critics and bashers? Sabi kay Bishop Sok, alam ko natin maraming galit kay Cardinal Sin. No? Maraming mga bashers nagsasabi sa kanya, huwag ka nang makialam kasi. Sabi ni Bishop Sok, marami pa nga nagmumura. Minumura si Cardinal Sin. Hanggang ngayon, meron yan. No? Di na nahiya, patay na si Cardinal Sin. Minumura pa rin nila. Pero sabi ni Bishop Sok, alam nyo ba paano hinandle ni Cardinal Sin ng mga bashers and critics? Sabi daw ni Cardinal Sin, in the end, these are the only questions that matter to us. What does God want me to say? And what does God want me to do? Yan lang ang tanong na sagutin mo. Ano ba ang gusto ng Diyos sabihid mo? Ano ba ang nais ng Diyos gawin mo? Many bashers and critics will try to distract you, make you afraid, persecute you, and tell lies against you. Minsan matatakot ka. Pero sabi ni Cardinal Sin, huwag kang matakot. Lilipas din lahat ng yan. Isa lang ang maiiwan sa huli, ang Diyos. Kaya ito ang magandang sagutin mo. Huwag mong iisipin na ano bang gustong nila na sabihin ko o ano bang gusto nila na gawin ko. Ang tanungin palagi, ano bang gusto ng Diyos na sabihin ko? Ano ba ang nais ng Diyos na gawin ko? My dear brothers and sisters, in the midst of all the noise and confusion and distractions of this world, let this be our moral compass and guide today. What does God want me to say? What does God want me to do? Amen. Please stand. As we journey through life, let us pray for the courage to speak and work for the truth. For every petition, let us say, Lord, make us strong in your truth. Lord, make us strong in your truth. That members of the church may strive to spread the good news of Jesus throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make us strong in your truth. That by contemplating on Jesus' suffering on the cross, Persons may turn from unbelief to faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us strong in your truth. That we may be at peace with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us strong in your truth. That the sick and the poor may experience the healing and loving presence of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Let make us strong in your truth. truth. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make, make us strong in your truth. truth. That the faithful departed may finally enjoy the peace of the heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make us strong in your truth. Father in heaven, you sent your Son to suffer for us. Grant that through our faith in him, we may struggle against unbelief in ourselves and in the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May this sacrifice, Almighty God, cleanse us by its mighty power and lead us to approach its source with ever greater purity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through Him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, 
we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, 
come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so with former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look upon your servants, O Lord, and in your goodness protect with heavenly assistance those who trust in your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. 